Good morning, I fam. Today is, I have no idea what the day is today, but it is sunny and nice and it's got a really nice breeze today, which I'm also really, really happy about. Aren't you, Esme? Yeah. We are just on our way to the shops because right now, Caravan, there is literally a shop right here. So we can go to the shops. Well, it's got really dark. We can go to the shops. So we're going to buy some things that we need. We're going to get some crisps for the beach. Who's Who loves crisps for the beach? I love taking a nice... Comment down below because I love taking Chris to the beach. Anyway, we're just at the shops now. Esme has got a really long shopping list that Mum wrote down for her on her phone. We're going to get some water, some Chris, because we're heading down to the beach this morning. We're going to check it out and if we want to stay there, we're going to stay there. And if we want to go back to the pool, then we're going to go back to the pool. Good morning, guys. How is everyone doing today? Got up this morning and thought we'd head to the beach. However, when we got to the beach, I think it probably was to do with something to do with the fact that Jace was really, really crying and none of us were feeling the beach today the wa the waves on the beach were quite strong and I know I've mentioned on our holiday travels before that I don't like beaches when they've got strong waves because I just can't relax when the girls are paddling in the water um, it's probably me just being super paranoid but the water is so so dangerous and so scary and so for me to be able to properly relax on a beach I kind of need it to be totally calm and shallow like it is in Mallorca and it wasn't like that down there this morning so we decided to leave the beach and come back up to the swimming pool where we had a fabulous time yesterday and we encountered our first negative of this caravan site so we've loved every single second of being here and thought the caravan site was actually perfect but we've just been told a few minutes ago that we can't have this tiny tent thing to, to shade Jace so let me just say that this tent thing is no bigger than a towel on the floor it's just got half a tent around it like a quarter I don't know if you can see it it's just basically that it's really small it's just a thing to cover babies up and obviously Jace who's asleep right now is only four months old so he needs some sort of shade and around this pool unfortunately there's no shade at all I don't really want to pan around because there's loads of people around me but there's zero shade none at all not even like trees that you can sit under and obviously you can't have that when you've got a baby I can't have him in this Sun all day long so we brought this up thinking it wouldn't be a big deal but it apparently is a big deal <laughs> we've just been told that there's no way we can use it so Chris kind of tried to explain that obviously he was just a small baby and we couldn't have him in the Sun all day and the guy said that's fine I'll have to get a manager or some some guy to come up and talk to you guys because he didn't really understand what we were saying and the manager said that we can have it here today but we can't have it any other day so as of today it's as of tomorrow sorry we can't use it I'm not really sure why that is it's such a shame I'm really grateful that they've let us keep it out today because we'd have had to go back to the caravan and um, because we can't have Jace in this sun it's, it's way too strong and the girls are literally living their best life ever in the swimming pool this swimming pool is perfect for them it's kind of um, heated a little bit so it's not freezing cold when you jump in but it's just really really refreshing it's so so hot here so I think I might have to go and join them when Chris gets back just to give you guys perspective this is all the space we've got around here so big and this is the size of the tent in the corner <laughs> literally tiny but like I say rules are rules and that's that I think I might have to jump in the pool so dumb I wish I could get you out of my head so numb doing all I can to move but I can't oh no I gotta let you go one of my favourite things about holidays by far is the girls playing together in the pool and making up dances. It literally makes my heart melt so much. I think mainly because I used to do things like that with my sister when I was younger. I think me and my sister probably argued more or bickered more when I was younger than what my girls do. But they do have their moments. They do bicker and argue just like any other sibling. But they play together so, so well when they're in the pool and I don't know they just stick together they make up dance routines they swim they have competitions doing handstands and they can spend hours like literally from morning until evening in the pool together without a single bicker or a single bad word to each other just making up routines and things and it just melts my heart so much a bit like Isla's doing right now are you having fun in there? Yeah. you know what to make up dance routines with the girls? no, no. You're too busy chilling in your rubber rings. So dumb. I wish I could get you out of my head. So we're 
just having a sun cream top up and some more crisps lays that the girls very kindly went to the shop and bought for us all this morning yeah. are they good yeah <laughs> what's up little man are you in a better mood today he's like get me in that water the little man's all kitted out in his nice uv suit with his hat ready to go who gave us this leanne she gave us it for you nice should we go for a little swim <laughs> He's smiling today though. <laughs> Good boy. He was very serious yesterday. Serious? Boy. It was all new yesterday, right? Now he's a pro swimmer. Ooh. Now he's a pro swimmer. Clever boy. So numb, doing all I can to move, but I can't. So we just got back to the caravan after an incredible couple of hours down at the pool. We didn't want to spend too long down there today because we're heading back into Barcelona. We had the most incredible time last night there and I've got to be honest guys and let you guys know that I wasn't actually that excited about coming to Barcelona. I don't know why, it's just not something that's ever been like on my bucket list or anything like that. But Chris really wanted to come here so we made it a stop on our travels. Sorry Esme. So we made it a stop on our travels and I'm so glad because I've actually fallen in love with this city so much so that I've said to Chris we have to come back here. Like maybe fly from home for like a city break. Uh, weekend break or something because there's so much to see and do and everywhere you look is just beautiful the, the buildings everything is stunning lots of you guys have sent us messages and emails recommending different things to do one of you mentioned Porto or one of you about a hundred of you mentioned Porto Ventura which is a big theme park but another thing that's been suggested is the Barcelona fountains or the fountains of Barcelona I've looked those up online and they look super beautiful and super pretty. Hoping we can get to those tonight. We also want to go back down to the harbour um, and we're going to go and film something that I actually suggested yesterday in the vlog but we didn't include the footage because it was too much. But it's going to be really fun and it's oh a God, good it's idea. Really it's going to be a good thing for the girls as well. Don't tell me how you feel So quietly next to me. We just arrived in James is literally loving life right now. We spent the whole bus journey chomping on this gummy mix, which is really textured and great for his babies are teething. Don't know if James is teething, but he's taking great comfort and chomping away. Aren't you? Cheeky boy. Just in case any of you guys were wondering, in Barcelona, the supermarkets are called Super Meerkats. <laughs> I know, I'm only joking. Behold. The eyeball building of Barcelona. Okay, girls, I just brought them into the tiger flying, flying tiger. Tiger flying. <laughs> that we came into yesterday, but we're actually coming in today for a reason. So, I thought we'd do a challenge in this shop. Okay, so have you seen on YouTube? I've seen loads of videos of everyone doing things like. Whatever you can carry, you can buy. Okay. Yeah. Well, we're going to do a version of whatever you can fit into your basket, you can buy. Okay? But, 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 there's a but. The basket is this big. you can fit into your little basket okay, you can buy okay but I'm only taking you guys around one at a time okay. so two need to go outside okay, okay. you as they go out and I'll do Isla first you can choose a trolley if you want Esme that is impossible to get anything in there <laughs> okay Isla's chose her basket pink. she's gone for a little cute pink one are you ready to shop yeah. whatever you can fit in that basket I will buy for you, but it has to fit into the basket without falling out, okay? And you can't be like holding it all in like this. What so if the item falls out, then you can't have it? Yeah, if it falls out, you've got to put it back. And you've got to get to the till with it all inside, okay? Okay. Let's go then. Very nice. So you don't feel what you do. <laughs> Does 
Does it fit? It does fit. You're not going to get much else in there. Oh, I don't know. You know. <laughs> Is it already getting taken out? Okay, let's go. Isla keeps putting things in a basket and taking it out. So far, she's chose a pen that stayed in for a few seconds before she removed it. <laughs> then she chose this that stayed in a, a few seconds, and now that's back out. Yeah, because that one. Didn't. What are we going for? What we found? Oh, she's been clever, you guys. <laughs> She's found a flower headband and she's put it over the top of the handle so it can't fall off. Is that the one colour you want? Oh, double check. These look kind of nice. <laughs> These look kind of nice. Last thing, I'm going to try and fit in some tic tac. Tic tac. You love tiki tacs, don't you? Orange, I think they'll be mint. Hey, these are two for one euro. I wonder if you can fit in two pots into your very full basket. What do you think? Strawberry. <laughs> Don't drop anything. If you do, you won't be able to get it. Oh my gosh, Ali, you've got lot. You had lots of space in the bottom. You had lots of. You don't want to risk it, do you? She's like, no, I want to go center. <laughs> okay, guys, I've just convinced Isla to try and squeeze something else in because she has got space, and we need to make the most of this space to win this challenge. He yeah. did it. So you're happy? You carried yes. it all to the tail. You got lots of cool stuff there. Yeah. <laughs> I'm so happy. I can't wait to show show the girls. Go and show them then. Yes. <laughs> okay, Esme, choose your basket. Are you going for any dibby trolley? Nothing will fit in there. Nothing will fit in the trolleys. I'll go for a yellow. You're going for a yellow basket? Okay, I've just thought the winner is going to be whoever spends the most money. Is that right? Or whoever spends the like the least? I think maybe I think I've got like the most stuff. Got the most stuff. The most items? Most items. Yeah, the most items yeah. that can fit in. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's good. good. Okay, so the person that wins is the person that gets the most items in their basket. <laughs> Let's go. I like this yesterday. Those look cool because they come with a like sharpener on the top. Yeah, so got pencils and a sharpener and they don't take up much space. Lay yeah. them long ways. Or you can put them like that, yeah? Or however you want. Like okay. <laughs> what are you on the lookout for, Esme? A notebook. A notebook. I can't decide over this one that would fit right in the bottom. Or an even smaller one like this. You get lots oh, of different ones. You're great. You, you oh, get, I'm gonna get this one. Maybe I'll give one to the girls as well. That's super kind. That's really kind, Esme. <gasps> You did. Really like a so it's like a, yeah, it's like a. Oh, it doesn't have any wheels. <laughs> That's not great. That's not so it's like um, it's full of like Play-Doh. It's like a suitcase though. Yeah. The Barbies. They're quite big. Will they fit in? Isla balanced one on top. Am I looking at last? <laughs> okay. Let's think carefully. Yeah. <laughs> She's thinking carefully, guys. Oh, I've got a good idea. I love the super cute knots and cross set, but instead of knots and crosses, it's flowers and hats. Nice little cute wooden one. Yeah. Will that fit in? See? Does it? <laughs> We're almost at the tills, and Esme's filling all the gaps right now. Yeah. <laughs> Look, I can still fit the in there. You can. You can get two of those. There's a cola one as well. Ooh, cola. <laughs> Okay, last thing. I don't know if I'll be able to do this, but try. How do we do it? Okay. <laughs> I think that might be a bit. Ad ad oh, I can't remember the word. Adventurous. Ambitious. That's the one. Got to hold it with one hand all the way to the <laughs> This is a full basket, isn't it? <laughs> 
<laughs> He's walking very slowly. You gotta get to that too. You ready? You do it. Are you done it? I've done it. Yay! Esme's just paid and hers came to two pounds more than Isla. So we don't know who's the winner. Let's go get Isabel. <laughs> you ready, Isabel? Yeah. You excited? Yeah. You feeling like you might win? No. Uh, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. You are. <laughs> okay, let's do this. So I was just choosing out her basket. Blue basket. Going for a blue one? Yes. Oh, let's shop. <laughs> we saw these yesterday. They're so cool. So it's like a clip pen. So it's a clip for your hair. Yellow and pink, blue and pink, or pink and red. So there's a lipstick, some glasses, and like nail varnish. They are cool. So explain what you mean. So it's like a clip oh, so you sorry. Have, like a slide. So you can like slide the clip in sort of thing. Um, like say if you're in a class and you had a clip in, you're like, oh damn it, I forgot my pen. Take this clip out and you can see it here and it's a pen. Ooh. It's, really nice. it's like Play-Doh. I'm not going to get that. It's too much space. <laughs> They're not going to fit. Wait, I'll try this. Sad times. No small. No small playing cards. Sad times. Wait, is this is the way you put your hair? You should, oh, no. have, you should have seen Esme's face when I just did that to her. What did she do? I, I mean, it, it was scary. Oh, cool. <laughs> okay, so I just got this, which is called a travel jewelry case. It's really, really cool. You just put all your jewelry and things so they don't go missing, and it also has a mirror inside of it. So That's really cool. cute. And that'll fit really nicely at the end it's really small. I will fit in. Boom. Squeeze in, Isabel. Are you going for pink ones? There's a couple of colours. Yeah, I, I like really the pink. pink. Yeah, I really nice. like the pink. Okay, so I've just found these and I think that they're absolutely adorable. I also think it'd be great for Jace because telling him stories without uh, anything to really show him is pretty boring. So these <laughs> wiggly <laughs> eye rings. Isabel, I think you might have just won the award for the most random thing I've is ever really seen. So funny. You put it in your fingers and you're like, hello. <laughs> <laughs> I'm definitely, oh, but the space. The space oh, though, the space. space. The problem, oh wait, oh, oh no, I've been falling. That's cute, that's cute. So we've got wiggly eye rings so that we can tell Jace stories. The bell's feeling, oh, be careful. If anything drops out, we can't put it back in. Put She's feeling confident. Oh, She's got it in. All to be fair, Isabel, oh, I can mom. see a bit of space down here where you could put some more stuff. Oh, mom. The last thing, she's squeezing in some Tic Tac and a Mellow Man. <gasps> if it goes on the floor, you can't have it. Gets the tilt quick. Go, 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 go. The man in the bag. <laughs> the marshmallow man's in the back, Isabel. Okay, Isabel's came to 13 and 5 cents. Isla's were 12 and 5 cents. Y'all were 13 and 5 cents, and Esme's were 14 and 5 cents. But they weren't all 1 euro, so that doesn't mean that Esme is necessarily the winner. <laughs> Let's go. So we just finished up doing the shopping challenge. The girls are all very, very, very excited right now, indeed. And we're going to count up what each girl got in their bags, and it's the one who got the most items that's the winner. So Isla, should we start with you? Yes. One, two, three. Wow. Do you want to double check? So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Ooh. Double check. Double check in. Don't shout your amount out, okay? Okay, Isla. How many items did you get? Twelve. She got twelve. Isabel. I got thirteen. My oh, Isabel got thirteen. Esme, how many did you get? I got twelve. I'm the winner. Isabel's the winner by one. Because she was like, yeah, I've got Yeah. Yeah. Because all of us were one because we've all got a bag of treats. Yeah. Yeah, that is true, Isla. That's so nice. Well done. That's such a nice thing to say. Thank you as well. These are definitely my favourite because what's Jay's mum? He does. It's so cute. He likes the yellow one. 
Whenever it's crying, Isabel just put them on a finger and he's like loving life. I love yellow. So do I. It's my favorite. Actually, no, it's green. I love green and my big eyeballs that move like a Oh my goodness, guys, this is incredible. We just got to Font Magica, which is a fountain show, which is recommended by all of you guys. It looks amazing. It's about to start in about 15 minutes. I have never seen anything that looks more incredible ever. Like, this looks insane. There must be literally thousands of people here to watch this. Like everywhere. So we were reading your guys' comments last night and one of you, or a lot of you, recommended that we come and see the fountains of Barcelona. Barcelona fountains. I might have got that wrong, but I think that's what it's called. In fact, you guys were commenting on tonight's vlog, last night's vlog, and every vlog since you guys find out we're in Barcelona. And so we looked it up and we thought we can't come and not see this if so many of you recommend it. Oh my gosh, Isla. I don't think you should stand there, babe. Yeah. Yeah, maybe we should sit down. Oh my gosh, Isla literally almost fell in. Sit down, guys. Good girl. Okay, so we just got here. We've got five minutes before the show starts. And how are we feeling? Yeah. I'm really, really, so really excited. Ex yeah, me too. I'm really excited to see this. Stop. 